Scene script. Have you ever wondered what makes an aircraft fly? Why is it crucial to understand the various parts of an aircraft? Just as our bodies are made up of different yet interconnected parts, an aircraft too is a marvel of intricate components, each playing a vital role in its operation. Aircraft, whether small or large, are complex machines, each part carefully designed and engineered for a specific purpose. The engine, the wings, the fuselage, the rudder, every single piece is essential to the overall functionality. Even the smallest bolt, the tiniest wire, contributes to the aircraft's performance, safety, and efficiency. Imagine owning a plane. You wouldn't just need to understand the main components, but also the subparts and the spare parts. You'd need to know what to replace if something fails, how one part interacts with another, and how a single malfunction could affect the whole system. Knowledge of these intricate details is not just for the pilots and engineers, but for anyone who takes an interest in the fascinating world of aviation. Understanding the parts of an aircraft is not just about knowing what each piece does. It's about understanding the interplay between these parts, how they work together to make flight possible. It's about appreciating the marvel of engineering that allows us to soar above the clouds. Every component of an aircraft has a role to play. The engine propels it forward, the wings provide lift, the fuselage houses the passengers and cargo, and the rudder controls its direction. And there are countless other parts, each as vital as the next. They all come together in a symphony of technology and engineering, enabling us to journey across the skies. So, why is it important to understand these parts? Because every piece of an aircraft is a testament to human ingenuity and our relentless pursuit of exploration. By understanding these parts, we gain a deeper appreciation for this incredible feat of engineering. With this in mind, let's delve deeper into the key components of an aircraft. Imagine the engine as the heart of an aircraft. Without it, the aircraft simply cannot operate. Just like our hearts pump blood to keep us alive, the engine thrusts the aircraft forward, giving it the life it needs to soar into the sky. Let's take a trip down memory lane and explore how aircraft engines have evolved over time. In the early days of aviation, propeller-driven engines were the norm. These engines, often powered by pistons, would turn propellers, creating a forward thrust that propelled the aircraft into the air. However, as reliable as they were, these engines had their limitations. They were not as efficient or as powerful as the needs of modern aviation required. So, engineers began to dream bigger and work smarter. The result? The birth of the jet engine. Jet engines revolutionized aviation, providing increased power, speed, and efficiency. Today, two types of jet engines are widely used, the turbofan and the turbojet. Now, you might wonder, how do these remarkable engines work? The turbojet engine operates on a principle called jet propulsion. Air is drawn into the front of the engine, compressed by fans, mixed with fuel, and then ignited. This process generates a forceful blast of hot gas that shoots out from the back of the engine, pushing the aircraft forward. On the other hand, the turbofan engine operates similarly, but with an added twist. It has a large fan at the front that sucks in more air than a turbojet. Most of this air bypasses the engine core and is blown out at the back, providing additional thrust. This makes turbofan engines quieter and more fuel efficient than their turbojet counterparts. In essence, these engines are the lifeblood of an aircraft. They generate the power needed to break the bonds of gravity and allow an aircraft to take flight. They convert fuel into raw power, pushing the aircraft forward with a force that defies the weight of the aircraft itself. So, without a doubt, the engine is a vital organ of an aircraft. Next up, let's talk about the wings and the fuselage, the framework of an aircraft. The wings are not just flat pieces of metal attached to the sides of an airplane. They are meticulously designed and engineered structures crucial to the aircraft's ability to fly. The wing's main job, in simple terms, is to balance and stabilize the aircraft during flight. But how do they do this? Well, it all comes down to the shape. The wings of an aircraft are designed in a specific aerofoil shape. This shape creates a difference in air pressure above and below the wing, which results in lift. Lift is the force that counters gravity and enables the aircraft to ascend. Each wing is attached to a central body, 
the fuselage, creating a synergy that aids in maintaining the aircraft's stability when airborne. Now, let's discuss the fuselage. If the wings are the muscles of an airplane, the fuselage is the spine. It's the main body of the aircraft, providing a central structure to which all other parts connect. The fuselage houses the cockpit, where the pilots control the aircraft, and the cabin, where passengers and cargo are carried. The shape of the fuselage also plays a key role in an aircraft's aerodynamics. It comes in two basic shapes, rectangular and cylindrical. The cylindrical shape is more common as it helps reduce drag, making the aircraft more fuel efficient and faster. In essence, the wings and the fuselage form a cooperative duo, the wings providing the lift and balance, and the fuselage offering structure and housing for passengers and cargo. They work together to create a stable, secure and efficient flying machine. So the next time you board an aircraft, spare a thought for these essential components. They are more than just pieces of metal. They are the carefully engineered structures that make flight possible. Thus, the wings and fuselage provide the structure that allows an aircraft to function effectively. Guiding an aircraft through the skies are the rudder and the horizontal stabilizer. These two crucial components work in harmony to control the direction and stability of the aircraft during flight. Let's start with the rudder. The rudder, a movable hinge located at the tail end of the aircraft, plays a key role in steering the plane. Think of it as the steering wheel of the aircraft. By adjusting the angle of the rudder, pilots can control the yaw of the aircraft, which is the side-to-side -side movement. When the rudder is turned to the right, the aircraft yaws to the right, and when it's turned to the left, the aircraft yaws to the left. Now, let's move on to the horizontal stabilizer. This component, also located at the tail of the aircraft, is like a small set of wings turned sideways. Its primary role is to counteract the pitching motion of the aircraft, which is the up and down movement. This is achieved by creating a counteracting force that helps maintain the aircraft's stability during flight. So, how do the rudder and horizontal stabilizer work together? Well, as the rudder controls the yaw, the horizontal stabilizer controls the pitch. When the aircraft encounters disturbances during flight, such as turbulence, the rudder and horizontal stabilizer work together to keep the plane steady and on course. In essence, these two components act as the aircraft's guiding system. The rudder steers the plane in the right direction, while the horizontal stabilizer ensures the aircraft remains stable during its journey. Just as a ship needs a rudder to navigate the seas, an aircraft needs its rudder and horizontal stabilizer to sail smoothly through the skies. Without these components, controlling an aircraft would be a daunting, if not impossible, task. The rudder and horizontal stabilizer, therefore, play a critical role in guiding the aircraft's movements. Each part of an aircraft is interconnected, working in harmony to achieve flight. It's a symphony of engineering, each component playing its part in the grand composition that is aviation. We've taken a look at the essential parts of an aircraft and how each one contributes to the overall performance. We've explored the engine, the heart of the plane, pulsing with power and propelling the aircraft through the skies. Whether it's the traditional propeller-driven engine or the modern turbojet and turbofan, Every engine is designed to suit the specific needs of the aircraft it serves. Then there are the wings and the fuselage, the framework of the aircraft. The wings, with their unique shape, balance and improve the aircraft's stability, lifting it into the air. The fuselage, either rectangular or cylindrical, connects all the parts, housing passengers and cargo. We've also discussed the guiding forces of the aircraft, the rudder, and the horizontal stabilizer. The rudder, acting like a hinge, helps control the direction of the aircraft, while the stabilizer maintains stability during flight. Now, while understanding the function of each part is essential, it's equally important to appreciate the role of regular maintenance. Like a well-tuned orchestra, an aircraft needs regular checkups to ensure every part is working optimally. This is usually done twice a year, but can vary depending on the needs of the aircraft. Special maintenance periods also exist, where the plane undergoes an extensive check to replace any damaged parts. The importance of regular maintenance cannot be overstated. 
It ensures the safety of passengers, enhances the performance of the aircraft, and extends its lifespan. It's a crucial part of aircraft ownership, which requires thorough knowledge about how each part works. Understanding the functions and descriptions of each aircraft part is key to appreciating the marvel of flight. So next time you board an aircraft, you'll have a deeper understanding of the intricate symphony that unfolds in every flight.